Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Zach with Money Pit RC. Today's video, we got a new Bezgo. This is the HP 162S. Today's video, we're going to do a little running. We're going to do bashing. We're going to go over what came in the box. And then we're going to compare this to the HP 161S and the HP 163S. All right, right out of the box, you're going to get the car, which is a cool blue body shell, which I really like. It's got roof skids. It's got a little, kind of like a bed rack kind of ordeal transmitter one 2s 1500 milliamp lipo charger you're gonna get some tools you're gonna get an allen key and you're gonna get a lipo safe charging bag all right straight out of the box you might be thinking that it's pretty much exactly the same as the 161s uh, it has some few changes not much but it does have some subtle changes up front you got the front bumper with the light you got the oil filled coilover shocks they are plastic body shocks but they are aluminum caps you do have toe adjuster for the front you got no adjustment marks in the rear uh, it does come with a full brushless system it is a two-in-one receiver which is kind of like a downgrade from the other one because it did have a standalone receiver so you, if you wanted to upgrade the electronics you could without changing out the remote uh, servo down there with the server saver they all come with the dean's connector which is good because you can get a whole bunch of different type of batteries it is a 3550 motor and then just a standard bumper in the rear aluminum cvds the whole way around the suspension on these bezgars do feel really nice they do have a nice subtle feel and i do like these tires they like i said before in my other videos they remind me of the armored d-boot tires just the the design pattern but they are soft i feel like they do have some foam in it uh, it does come with the plastic chassis all metal diffs all metal gears metal center drive shaft all right we got all three lined up this is the hp 161s hp 162s and the hp 163s so i'm going to go over the differences between all three we're going to start with the hp 161s which obviously i know it's a little broken but that's okay so we're going to take the bodies off of all three of them so the hp 163s did not come like this i turned it into a street car but i do have a full review video on my youtube channel of how it came so we're going to start over here with the 161s so i'm going to compare these two more versus this one because this one actually is pretty different so i might just leave this one aside and we're just going to focus on these two if you want to check out the video on that i have a review i will leave a link in the description below so we have the 161 and the 162. all right so looking up front front bumpers are exactly the same shock towers are exactly the same shocks are exactly the same basically same suspension from forward up so here's where it gets different the chassis this has some honeycomb this one doesn't it actually has a metal plate we will see which one's beefier i've never broken a chassis yet these actually have a little like rock sliders that the body actually locks into these do not this one does not different battery design this one has a modular battery that slides in it only can really fit one type of battery this one is more for like a universal type of battery you can fit a lot of different batteries in this one this one is a 4200 kv motor this esc can handle up to 3s lipo and it's got a separate receiver this one like i said two in one receiver 2s lipo this is only a 35 amp you can see this is a 45 amp so moving on to the back this is where it gets different is because you can see this one that i broke it is a separate body mount from the actual shock tower this one is all integrated into one the shock tower is part of the body post i don't know if they updated that because this is the second one that i have broken so i don't know if this is the updated part this is the body from this one you can take the body from the hp 161s and put it on the hp 162 so it is the exact same so i'm gonna assume you can take off that shock tower and mount it onto here because everything else is the same around it so underneath like i said exactly the same just that has a different design on the inside so that's enough talking we're just going to get these out and just start taking them for a bash 